Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. And today I have a single new product for review. It is the TFS Crema de Barba, the Matino. This is from the pinup line. There are two others in the line, but I have only purchased the Matino. This is a coconut, uh, coconut oil based soap. Very similar in texture and feel to many of the other uh, Chung Fung Sing or TFS soaps. The scent on this has if you look at the way the notes are described, it should be a pretty complex scent. However, at least in this particular container, scent strength is unfortunately very, very light. What I primarily get are notes of the rose and some of the citrus scents, which is unfortunate because uh, the scent description is is quite varied. And just, just as the description goes, you know, sounds really good, but unfortunately, at least in this particular container, sadly, very, very weak scent. However, that does not affect the performance, so we'll talk about that in just a moment. Today's razor is the three-piece Razor Rock Black Mamba with the Uber Glide coating. This is the Icon Bamboo Handle. Uh, what I have in here is a Feather High Stainless, which has been on, it's the sixth shape. I've been shaving with it all week and getting great shape so far. The brush for today is the standard whip dog handle with the Poisson style, not the uh, synthetic. So here's the soap pressed into the Captain's Choice soap loading bowl. I'm gonna get lathering in just a moment. Uh, lathering it, absolutely no issue, but even even when lathered, the scent remains uh, quite weak. Now, I don't think that that's, that's normal. I think these soaps are supposed to have actually a a pretty well-defined and pretty pronounced scent. Just unfortunately, in my particular case, that container, for whatever reason, the scent is just very weak. That may be true across the board, but I'd be surprised if that was the case, given my experience with other TFS soaps. Relatively dry brush, you can still see, it's generating quite a bit of uh, sort of foam on the sides. I'm gonna load really good and heavy. Generally speaking, very happy with the soap, actually. Easy to use. Add a bit of water to the bowl. Just a few drops, literally just a few drops. And you can see what was foamy at the beginning is now starting to turn into a bit more of a kind of a creamy lather. So let's see what we have loaded. Ah, that looks like plenty. If need be, just load more. All right, can you wet my face again a little bit? Again, as always, this is just over two days worth of growth. I'm going to drip a bit of water onto the brush, but just a few drops. You can see already beautiful, creamy, creamy lather. Take a moment to really work that up a little bit. I know this is going to sound crazy when I say it, but when you move the brush like that, you can still sort of hear that the lather sounds a little airy, a little foamy. And so I'm gonna add a touch of water in a moment. Yeah, already feels really nice and sort of soft on the face. A very simple soap in the scheme of things, but don't let the simplicity deceive you. Good performance. All right, I'm just dripping a, a bit of water on there. And we should see that go and develop a bit of a shiny sleekness to it. I'm gonna continue to work it a little bit. Yeah, that sounds a little denser. Yeah, good. A little heavy and a little wet. All right, big shout out to my dad, by the way. And in fact, it really is me, dad. Check it out. All right, clear off my lips a little bit. This feather blade really surprised me actually because I remember these as being uh, the source of a significant number of sort of unpleasant nicks or weepers. But I think that that may have well been in the Razor Rock Jaws. I 
I just don't remember when the last time was that I had these, so I got them as part of a sampler from a Tri-Blade. Very pleasantly surprised. Good pairing with this razor. Now, in case you're wondering, with the Uber Glide coating, no, the razor does not feel like Teflon on the face somehow. Blade is still doing great. And apologies for leaning in, but it wasn't until the last time I shaved, and this is really kind of ridiculous how long it takes you to realize something, but of course I normally shave with the cabinet door closed, and so the mirror is closer, and just this change in the distance gives me a bit of a tendency to lean in, so. All right, first pass done. Easy, very smooth. Soap is really nice and slick. Very easy to lather. Um, is slick when wet, like a lot of residual slickness, and, you know, rinses pretty easily. Yeah, this is just, one again, one of these just wonderful lathers. You can just feel how slick and sort of creamy, soapy that is. There we go. Yeah, I have to say, you know, this is just one of those soaps you can just tell right off the bat, you know, you're going to like it. The performance is really good, and if you have one where the scent is strong, then fantastic. You know, they've got three different options. Morning, afternoon, and evening. I don't remember what the scent profiles on the other one. I think one of them, it may be the evening, the Seah might be a, um, a barbershop scent. Okay, this is the uh, Cross the Grain. Pass number two. Other thing to note, by the way, is that the container it's, uh, it sort of feels like half size. It's a 75 milliliter. So it is it is smaller than your sort of your standard uh, soap size. This one I bought with some other soaps from the Barbiera de Figaro in Holland when I was traveling overseas because it could be shipped from the Netherlands to our office in Poland. Don't remember what I paid for it, but. I mean, in fact, the container is nice and small, makes a good travel size. Oh, careful. You watch. I will have not had a nick or a cut or a weeper all week. No overhang on this razor head design, by the way, which um, I'm a big fan of the fact that the uh, the head entirely encloses the blade. I think one objection was that, well, if you don't have the, uh, the end caps exposed, how can you adjust the uh, blade alignment?
I think my argument would be, why do you have to adjust the blade alignment? You should be, you know, producing a razor that doesn't have alignment issues. And leave the cap covered, the end caps. All right, pass number two, already done. There is still quite a bit of lather in the brush. Amazingly, the brush has not yet slipped from the side of the sink into the basin full of water. However, shade's not over yet. I'm going to add a touch of water to the brush. And then let's try to get as much of that lather out. Just gonna squeeze it gently and just pull that off. There we go. I know that at least one of you smirked at that. Maybe two of you. All right, now overall for the razor, this is one of those very good, but with a bit of a caveat. There we go, done. Put that down. Maybe this is the shave where that brush does not just go slowly sliding into the sink. Against, against the grain pass, pass number three. Very, very light, no, really no pressure. Now, it's right here where there's a tendency for a bit of irritation to creep in. Razor feels really good for the first two passes and just a little uncomfortable underneath the jawline, on the against the grain only. And for some reason, not as efficient in that part of the pass. So there's a uh, an unfortunate combination there that can lead to overshaving. Gentle buffing on the chin. That is one thing I do like about this razor quite a bit. It feels very safe in use. All right, mustache. Still good slickness on the soap. There we go. All right, let's leave it right at that. Just a touch right there at the end of the hairline.
And again, because there is no part of the end of the blade sticking out, a little easier for me to get that that bottom line cleaned up. All right, done. Turn it off. Yeah, good slickness. Good slickness, but also easy to rinse. Uh, there we go. All right, towel off. See how we did. Yeah, I have to say, overall, I really am a big fan of these uh, sort of soft Italian soaps. I just find them very easy to use. They, generally speaking, work very well for me. Um, they don't take a lot of work to, you know, to, to get a great ladder out of. Um, nice, very nice, clean, completely irritation-free shave. Absolutely fantastic, and that blade is still, still going strong. All right, let's close it off with, I'm just working my way through day by day by day. I'm sort of sticking with this now, I think until the bottle is gone. Um, the barrister and man, the cool, put a little bit on, nice and cooling, refreshing, it got very hot here yesterday, it was in the 90s already, alright, let's put on a little bit more of that, smells fantastic, feels great going on. Zero sting, no irritation, no heat. Overall, pretty good post shave on that soap. A oh, bit of soap in my ear still. There we go. Oh, they just feel so good. Mm. Whew. Let that menthol cool you down a little bit. All right, well, let's do a brief recap because this shave is at an end and it ended very well indeed. Today's soap, the one new product in the mix, is the Chongfeng Sing TFS Crema de Marba. Another wonderful soft Italian soap. Uh, manufacturer is obviously well known for her products. Across the board, the line is fantastic. My only problem with this particular instance is the scent. I think the scent description was spot on for me. It sounded like it was something that I'm just going to really enjoy. But this one, sadly, uh, it has a light floral and a light citrus perfume to it, but there is no really strongly defined uh, scent out of the container. Performance, however, is fantastic. Easy to use, easy to lather, no dissipation, very slick, rinses easily, what's not the like? Today's razor, the three-piece, the Razor Rock Black Mamba on the Icon bamboo handle. This is the one with the Uber Glide coating. Feather blade sixth use, still going strong. So I may, maybe not though, I don't think I'll use that for next week's shave because I have a quite interesting product coming up and I may want to go for a bit more of a, uh, more of a mild sort of mid-range blade in that. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the brush, the whip dock handle with the uh, sort of Poisson style uh, knot. And then of course, let's close it out. Unless I already mentioned this, maybe I did. I already forgot the Barrister and Man Reserve Cool, beautiful blue color in this. Fantastic face feel. No irritation to burn this time. Just lovely, beautiful shave. Oh, looks like I have a little bit, little bit of irritation there. And see, this is a very, this is what I was talking about earlier, kind of a common problem with that razor that it just sneaks in a little bit. Not hot, doesn't hurt, but you can see a little bit of redness there and that is Pretty frequent with that razor. Overall, the shave though is fantastic. No issues with that. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna say thank you once again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to leave a comment or question and I will try to get back to that as quickly as I can. And until next time, goodbye.